Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. One of the most useful and fundamental functions of Word is the ability to add pictures into your documents to enhance their appearance. Starting with Word 2013, you can insert pictures from various online resources, including Microsoft's Bing, SharePoint, or OneDrive, as well as other online resources. To insert an image from an online resource, first click into the document to place your insertion point at the location where you want to insert the image. Then click the Insert tab in the ribbon and click the Online Pictures button in the Illustrations button group in order to display the Insert Pictures window. Within this window, you can see the various types of online resources that you can use to browse for pictures to insert. If you want to insert pictures that are available on your SharePoint site or your OneDrive storage account, click the Browse button in either labeled section to open an Insert Picture dialog box. The default storage folder for that service should be displayed. However, if the correct folder is not opened, navigate to the folder where your file is stored and then click the file icon to select your picture file. Then click the Insert button in order to insert the picture into your document. To search for online pictures, simply enter a search term in the Search Bing field that appears within the Insert Pictures dialog box. Then click the Search button at the right end of the text box to display pictures that match the keyword that you entered. You can scroll through the listing of matching pictures until you find one that you want to insert. You can then click the picture that you want to insert, and then click the Insert button at the bottom of the window to insert the selected picture into your document. By default, when you add any type of graphics file into a Word document, its default text wrapping is set to inline with text. This means that the picture has been inserted into the document as if it were simply another character in a sentence. You can only place the picture into areas within the document where text characters exist when using this type of text wrapping setting. You will not be able to click and drag the image to move it freely within the document area unless you pick a different type of text wrapping. You can click the Layout Options tag that appears at the right side of the inserted image and then choose a type of text wrapping from the drop-down menu of choices to set the text wrapping option that you prefer. Once you do that, then you may move the image by simply clicking and dragging the image to a different part of the document. To resize a selected image with your mouse, place your mouse pointer over any one of the eight resizing points that are located at the perimeter of the image. Once your mouse pointer turns into a double pointed arrow, you can click and drag in either direction displayed by that arrow to increase or decrease the size of the image. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.